Good day, Leo, and welcome to my channel. I'm Misha, the Psychotic Psychedelic Gypsy, and this is your weekly reading for May 15th to the 21st. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well, and I hope this reading resonates with you. That sound that you're hearing is my cat climbing up a curtain. She's got the zoomies. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? Two of diamonds. Five of hearts. Eight of diamonds. And the eight of hearts. Alright, so you need to move on. There's something that you need to move on from and move forward in your life. Uh, it's something that you've been holding on to probably for quite a while. And you're, it looks like you're going to be struggling with getting rid of it uh, throughout, <clears throat> throughout the week. Uh, this is most likely a person, uh, somebody that you're very close to. So letting them go uh, is going to be painful. But uh, you need to stop. Um, don't do it. Don't keep holding on to this. It's not. It's not any good. Whatever it is, a uh, person or whatever you know, maybe even a job. It can be a job uh, that you love, but you just can't do anymore or anything like that. Or it can be a person. But either way, there's something you're holding on to that you know. You you know that you need to move on from it, but you don't want to because it's painful. But you need to and you're going to be struggling with that throughout the whole week uh at the beginning of the week uh you're going to be in a love triangle now this doesn't necessarily mean that your partner's cheating on you but it can mean that but it can also mean that you're cheating on your partner um but it also can mean your boss uh your partner like your partner in business is cheating on you or a friend is cheating on you or a family member is anybody that can tell you one thing and then turn around and tell somebody else something else you know so uh keep your eye open for that um in the middle of the week you may fall prey to some self-pity um some sorrow and despair uh for something in the past and that could very well be this uh, this thing that you've been holding on to. Perhaps now you're feeling sorry for yourself and that's going to slow you down on letting go of whatever this is. And that's what you need to do is you need to leave the past in the past. This person, this person or this thing, job, whatever, uh, is already in your past. Like you know it, but you just don't want to get rid of it. So you might fall into self-pity uh kind of self-sabotaging yourself but you need to forgive the past and you need to leave it and let it go it's it's done for uh at the end of the week holy crap uh you're gonna have an unexpected happening uh both in job and money uh you're gonna be able to get some time to relax as well uh just remember that even on a sunny day it can rain which could be this self-pity which could be this cheater is the rain that could interrupt this time but you need to you need to pay pay attention and focus and not miss whatever this is you know because this is going to be really good for you job money abundance rest all that uh and this the self-pity and this this cheater this this stuff that you're holding on to this could make you miss this at the end of the week so you really need to work on this and move on from whatever this is uh, and and keep an eye open towards the end of the week for something really good uh, in job, job, money, abundance, everything. Uh, all right, well, I hope this uh, reading resonated with you. And if it did, hit that like button. And if you would, please comment, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you back next week. And until then, stay safe, stay mindful, and stay healthy.